Hey guys, what's up? Jennifer here with Morero Family Farm. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, lately on the channel, I've been showing you guys some really cute babies that have just recently been born. I am in my garage. Don't mind my mess in here, process of moving. Everything gets, you know, packed away and tucked in the garage. So, wanted to give you the update on our cute little ducklings. These babies are doing so good. They are so sweet. And I love the way they look up. Every single time we come out, they're like, hello. Hi. Hi, baby. Hello. I think they were just either eating or drinking. Look at that one. He's about to fall asleep. He or she. So I don't know if you guys know, but I tried to put as many of the ones that I thought were girls in here. I think they're still a boy like I think this one here might be a boy and possibly this one here in the front if you see like right here there's a dark patch and this one definitely looks dark this one to me looks dark I can't really see the body of that one but supposedly they say <laughs> that um, the darker ones are most likely females and the lighter ones are most likely boys. Look at this sleeping baby. So this is the little one that was just falling asleep. I just wanted to double check and make sure that it's doing okay. I hear a little gurgling. I'm gonna keep my eye on this one. Just wanna make sure that it's doing all right. I'm gonna go have a, a chat with the hubby and have him help me decide whether or not it's um, doing okay. It's gonna open the door. But I do need some um, confirmation that it's doing okay. So, got to go to the master over here because he knows everything birds. <laughs> Let's not give him a big head, though. Uh, can you pause this so it's not in the background of your flat earth theory? Operation Fishbowl. Operation Fishbowl. Look it up. Okay. We are very into um, anything that has to do with conspiracy because... I don't know if you guys know this, but anything that's considered a conspiracy is usual truth. Yes, biblical conspiracy. Can you move your stuff out of the way? So, <clears throat> okay, so the thing that's concerning me with him is he has a really fast heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And I hear a little bit of wheezing when he breathes. What did you say? Oh. Oh. You want to go outside and play? That's, it. That's all he needs. He needs to go kill some energy. So maybe, um, maybe later on. Put him on the pond. No. Then you just dig him up with a the wooden. Let's see, this one. He's fine. Yeah, but all the other ones, every time you try to touch them, they. They, you know, scatter and try to get away. And this guy is just very, like... Let him run around here. He's either so, like, mm -hmm. not showing any kind of energy whatsoever. Just be careful. You see how it's just kind of, like, mm -hmm. heavy breathing? Well, I don't worry about the breathing. I worry about the non-activity. I mean, to give him some kind of credit he was trying to fall asleep so maybe he's just tired mm -hmm. okay so we grabbed another duck just to 
encourage this one to either move closer to it. Oh, he already pooped on the floor. How sweet. Oh, look how tall. <laughs> there we go. All right, something's going on with his leg, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he's not moving very well. Maybe his leg is hurt. Yeah, so if you guys can see, it's kind of stunted a little bit or something. His legs are bothering him. It's hard, it's hard for him to walk on here too. It is, but that one's doing just fine. But his, he seems nice and tall. Like he stands up nice and tall. Very up. alert. My little baby. We're gonna put him in the car. Not yet. It would be good for his legs, so, huh? Yeah. But then they have to go under the heat lamp immediately. So we're gonna put them in the pond. This is the the extremely active one. All right, get some exercise. Good deal. Swim, 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 little buddy. Oh, oh no. Kind of stuck on the lily pad. You smart little things. Yeah, that one's definitely the runt. Look at the size difference between the very active one to the one that's kind of struggling a little bit. It probably gets pushed down on the pile also. Mm -hmm. Probably laying on top of him. Mm hmm. Like this. Come on. Use those legs. So we're just going to give him a little bit of exercise, make him try to use those legs. Um, he's probably been doing an excessive amount of sleeping. Um, and then I'm going to try to get them all in the pond just to get some exercise. I don't want to get them walking around outside right now. I'll wait until it warms up a little bit. It's supposed to warm up this afternoon to about 70 degrees. I don't know how true that is, but right now it is very cold. It was 39 degrees this morning. So it does make me a little hesitant. Like I know they're ducks, they can handle the cold water. I'm not naive, but as a mama, <laughs> as the duck mama, I get nervous that they're gonna get sick. <laughs> I don't want them getting sick. Yeah. So yeah, we take him out and he just kind of sits there. Come on, you gotta move. You gotta move. Yep, stand up nice and tall. Stand up, shake off. Come on, baby. So, I'm gonna put this little guy underneath the heat lamp a little bit. Try to give him some food and, um, just see how he does. He's not very perky and he needs to be, uh, you know, just made sure that he is eating. But the other ones are all very big. So I'm just holding him under the heat lamp a little bit so he can, you know, warm up a little. I don't want Look, you guys should have seen it. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Was that fun? Which one was it? Do you even know? I can't even tell who's what. They all look the same. Come on. Go be with your siblings. Go on. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. We're going to have to pray over this one because... This is a very worrisome sign.
So that's good to see. So as you guys just saw, I think the little guy is going to be okay. I mean, I really do. He seems to be holding his own in the huddle. So I'm just going to keep an eye on them. I'll check on him multiple times today just to make sure that, um, you know, he's hanging in there. Let's see how these two babies are doing. You're getting your little winter coat in, aren't you? Look at you, fuzzy girl. You look just like your mama, Hope. Have you been behaving yourself, mister? Hmm? You being nice? Are you being nice, Geo? We've had Geo since he was just a baby. This is one of Ruby's first litters that she had here on the farm. So when he was just a little kid, I used to hug him and cuddle him. But since he's back in the back with the boys, I don't really go back there that often just because I don't like smelling like male goat. I mean, he has, I mean, he smells like a goat, but he doesn't smell like really nasty. Oh, look guys, this is it. This is what I wanted you guys to see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't see them all. Oh, goodness. Four on this side, five on that side. There are nine, nine little chicky. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Nine little chickies. We have four little yellow ones, two little red ones, and three little black ones. Oh my heavens. They are so cute. Look at them. And they grow so fast, you guys. I think we have another chicken underneath the shed. Under the shed is where they love to go, which is perfect, really. We don't have snakes around here. Um, and that underneath the shed just keeps them nice and warm. It keeps them protected from any predators, even from, like I said, snakes, because we don't have them. The only thing that we do have around here are mice and rats that I've seen. Um, but... Yeah, they, they go underneath this area here and just lay their nest. And according to my husband, there is another one under there. Hey, Bella. Hello. My husband said he saw one under there. I will take his word for it because the only way that I'd be able to see it is to lay down on my belly. And I'm not doing that because I don't want to get all dirty. So... Um, there's only one other thing that I'm looking for to show y'all, but I don't, oh, I probably, I know where she's probably at. Of course, she's going to be over here. I am so sure of it. Hey, Peppa. Hello, little mama. Don't you look mighty cute today? You're filling up nicely. Yay, you're putting on a little bit of weight, huh? Finally, those piglets have left you alone. That one seems to have found a good scratching post, but she always does. And here is the other thing that I was looking for. Right there. Just checking on Mama. See how she's doing with her ducklings. Making sure she still has all seven. If I can count, I would say that three and four is seven. So that is a good thing. Hi boys, you're looking mighty handsome today. Hello, both of you, you're very handsome. Like I said, I'm gonna keep an eye on that little duckling, just make sure that um, he perks up and starts holding his own really well. 
Hey guys. So I went in to check on the little baby ducklings and I found this one. Um, same one as before, just kind of off by itself. And it was gasping for air. I don't think this little guy is trying to sleep. I really think he's trying to die. Um, I've seen this with, I've seen this with baby chicks. He's still breathing, but if you watch him, he's like, he's really fighting you guys. He'll open his mouth and start gasping. I have seen chickens do this, uh, baby chicks, when we first got chickens from Tractor Supply. I saw them kind of act like this. This has got to be the hardest part of having a farm and raising babies and breaks my little heart, but I really don't think this guy's going to make it. So I'm just going to um, hold him and cradle it and let it know that it's loved and pray over it and God willing, it'll make it. And if not, um, hopefully it will know that it was loved. It's having a hard time, guys. But I wanted to share the good, the bad, and the ugly with you guys. And I want to be real with you that there is some really tough times here on the farm. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it is... Um, just a very sad moment and I feel like it's necessary to share this kind of stuff with you guys um, whether you own a farm or you're thinking about owning a farm it comes with it and if you own a farm you already know that but if you're thinking about doing a small homestead and you haven't jumped in yet um, these are unfortunately some of the things that we deal with so you have to be physically and mentally prepared for the tough times. And this kind of stuff is definitely for the tough times. I think it's different when you're processing an adult animal because, you know, they lived a good life and they were happy and healthy. But when they are so small like this and, um, you know, just fighting to survive, it's, it's sad. But... All right, I'll keep you guys updated. Hey friends, I'm back. Unfortunately, um, there's no easy way to say this. The little duckling didn't make it. I had put him down um, back with his brothers and sisters to um, get a mixture made of some pellets with some like Nutri Drench or um, some vitamin B complex. Um, and then I grinded it with water, of course, and tried to give him a little syringe. Well, first, then I went back to go check on him and he was kind of like on his back and like arching his head. And uh, I picked him up, you know, and. Uh, what is that called in chickens? I can't remember, but just, you know, like doing the whole neck arching thing. And I tried to put a little bit of nutrients in, but it was already too late at that point. And um, I kind of blamed myself that maybe I, you know, drenched him too much. Um, but this is life on the farm. So on a much happier note, I came out to feed my Miss Daisy girl. Look at her. She is being so lovey-dovey today, you guys. She is just all about giving me the kisses. And maybe she feels my morning. I don't know. But she's a good girl. Oh, little duckling. Oh, my gosh.
that is it guys. Unfortunately, there was a casualty on the farm. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's heartbreaking, especially when it happens in your hands. Um, but it's okay, because when there's death, there's life. I've said that before. The two are always counter-mingled together, you know? And uh, I see the beauty in everything, and I see life in everything. So I prayed over the little duckling, and... Um, sent it off on its way to God and now it's a happy little duckling swimming in a pond with beautiful scenery with Jesus standing right there next to it. So, um, that's how I like to envision it anyways. It makes me feel happy inside. So anyways, on that note, thank you guys so much for following along. Please make sure to leave your comments down below and like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you know the next time that we post a video. And please, if there's something that I could have done differently for this duckling, if you are like a duck expert, please leave it in the comments below because I am new with ducks. I don't really know what the heck I'm doing. To, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I don't claim to be an expert on any of this stuff. I do a lot of research and I try my best, but when it comes to um, animals that are struggling at young age like that when it comes to chicks and ducklings it is a very challenging situation and you try to do everything that you can but you feel like you're force feeding them and it's very hard to do that when you don't know if you're choking them or helping them so please leave a comment down below if you know anything about this or a resource or something that I can look into that will give me more information I would highly highly appreciate it and I appreciate each and every one of you Thank you so much for being here. Until next time, be blessed. We'll see you then. Bye.